and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Demmore. Your guess is as good as mine, viewers. He is ranked 21st in his gold division. He is 51 and 52 uh, with 740 points. And here we are in the game. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest up against... Demor. He is a red Protoss in the north northeast. This is the, this would be east over over Nya. Um, the map is Zalnaga Caverns, and as you can see, I take a lead in the APM early on. Um, that's really something that you don't see very often from me. I am I am not good with APM, and never have claimed to be. This is a interesting map, if I may say so myself. I've never really played a map that went really heavy on the macro on this map. Um, er, so when when I get this expansion here, you know that's the natural. It's it's a tough natural to hold, especially against the Zerg players. And then I usually go for the high yield next. I don't even bother going with the ones around the side. So I, I and I don't think I've ever seen a match of mine where either player went for expansions round on, on, on you know suddenly exploding all over the map. That's not something that I tend to see on this map. It, it, it's something that I've seen done on other players' games, but just not mine. And he sends a uh, scout out to uh, harass my worker. I send two more to take it out, and I am getting some valuable information inside his base, uh, just kind of going all the way around. I do have an awesome star pattern on my scout. And he's not chrono boosting anything yet. That does worry me slightly, and I won't see where it goes because I did go through his mural line and he was able to take it out. So I will not see that assimilator going up. I still see that he is holding off on the chrono boosting. Usually when I see it that early, no chrono boosting. I have to assume that it's going to be for warp gate technology, and there's the cybernetics core. But really, he could use one because looks like it will get to full 100 before that cybernetics core is up so he's probably going to want to use some of that before um, he starts using it on the warp gate sending another probe out so are we going to be seeing something unusual here it's it's a quite a long ways meanwhile though I am getting a supply depot to finish off the block off just in case he does go for a zealot rush because really I didn't see any gas. I, I, I didn't know what he was going and I got killed off a little bit too early to find out for sure. I am getting a second barracks up. But no, what what is this? He's going for a proxy pylon here. Uh, so he's going to be going for the warp gate. He should be going for the warp gate. There we go. Uh, starting to use that um, Chrono Boost, so no, I was wrong. Um, it, his timing was almost exactly perfect. I believe the energy got up to 98 or 99 before he used it. And he looks like he double Chrono Boosted that. I don't know if that stacks. To be honest, I doubt it. But I don't know that for sure. So, standard three racks for me. Uh, this was a game that I played. I actually played this earlier today, and I will admit I I was not on my game today. Um, I actually tried out the custom game, right? I, I, I think I told you guys that I do a custom game against a very hard AI before I start playing online just to make sure I'm, I'm on my game, and I wasn't. Uh, it was a very hard AI. I didn't lose, but it took me a long time to beat the po that, that AI. It was not fun. So here we go. Four gate is up. And this was actually the second multiplayer game that I get that I played, and uh, the first one was just just awful. Uh, uh, there's no reason for me to show it to you guys. It's just, hey, how come you don't have anything yet? Oh my God, the guy's coming to destroy you. That's how the game went. It was just not good. 
And here we see three stalkers being warped in to the proxy pylon uh, behind the grass. I assume that's grass. Uh, so that I couldn't see them even if I had the expansion. I don't have the expansion. I am not Zerg. I don't think about getting it that fast. Sticking with the orbital command. Um, and here, see, this is exactly what I mean. I got the factory up instead of the engineering bay, and I am not going to be able to produce anything out of there for quite some time. I don't want to get Hellions, to be honest with you. I know they can cost only minerals. They only cost 100 minerals, I just checked right now. Um, but I hardly ever get them, and I don't want to get them against Protoss. The, really, the, the, the Protoss players, the Protoss units especially, um, nothing, you know, that, I mean, they'd be good against sentries and, and maybe zealots? I believe zealots, but what I want is tanks, and I won't be able to get that for a while, at least, uh, uh, at least until I get two base up and going. So I'm going to be sticking with the marines and marauders, but I kept the tank up just in case. And did he lose any? No, we both each lost a scout, and that's it. So he's got a small army outside my base. I am not panicking though that is important a lot of players what they'll do is they see that the guy moved up here and then backed off and they're gonna immediately want to chase him down that is not my plan in fact I wanted to get a tank out but I didn't have enough I do have enough gas now did I get it come on get it oh no I'm busy getting other stuff so I don't know about this proxy pylon I don't know if he stayed outside my base or if he moved on. This is a horrible block off, if I may say so myself. Um, but it's completely useless now that he's got stalkers and he's doing a little dance outside my base. And it's it's raising his APM, but really it's not doing anything. Maybe I catch him off guard when he moves away. Robotics facility is on the way. He's full on Chrono Boost yet again on the Nexus. So really, once he got the uh, warp gate, he doesn't really remember to use the Chrono Boost at all. I do finally get a tank out researching siege mode, and here I move out, which is stupid. Why am I doing that? And of course I move out one by one, and here I think I do a very smart move here. I only um, stim pack the marines and marauders that have, um, have been trapped by these force fields. These are very good force fields, by the way. And... Here are two more good ones, so again, select just the ones that got caught and stim pack those guys because, you know, they're going to die anyways. Siege tank still not being able to siege up, so I abandoned the idea and I'm like, wait, what was I doing going down there again? That was stupid. Let's just stay up here. So I did finally research siege mode gonna siege him up and boom get a free potch off off on the stalkers and almost uh, almost starts doing some health damage but didn't quite make it through the shield an observer is on the